And welcome to ETF Edge, your go-to place for everything exchange-traded funds. I'm your host, Bob Pisani. If there ever was a year active management should have outperformed passive index strategies, 2020 and 2021 should have been it. Yet a recent report from Morningstar indicates that active managers in the last year did not outperform their passive peers compared to other years. Here to discuss the author of that report, Ben Johnson, director of global ETF research at Morningstar, along with Ed Rosenberg. He's the head of ETFs for American Century Investments. And Jerome Schneider is the head of short and low duration portfolio strategies at PIMCO. Ben, uh, I read your report carefully. Only 47 percent of all active managers outperformed their benchmarks in the year ending in June. The performance is really a lot worse over longer periods. We'll discuss that later. Summarize why active managers can't outperform. Well, it boils down to a, a few things, Bob, and, and one of those things really is survivorship. What we see is that over longer periods of time, most active funds simply fail to survive. They don't make it from the beginning of the period to the end. And why do they fail to survive? And in most cases, they fail to deliver the goods. They fail to outperform their benchmarks. And that's in no small part because they have a very high hurdle, and that hurdle is oftentimes their fees. They're oftentimes their own worst enemies to the extent that they overcharge relative to what they're actually able to deliver for investors. Yeah, survivorship is very important, and it's one of the things you, you guys have always been on top of, and I think it, it, it's important. A lot of funds are just terrible, and they close, and people don't account for that. Uh, you do. By the way, love the guitars behind you. Very rock and roll there, Ben. Uh, Ed, you oversee several actively managed equity ETFs uh, for American Century uh, and for, uh, uh, in general, and they've outperformed this year. Now, given the odds, how do you do it? How, what do you, how do you stick to your knitting and outperform, given the odds that Ben was describing there? I mean, I think it's a few things, Bob. The portfolio managers stick to what they're good at, right? And we have three different types of active so we have fundamental, which is a bottom-up approach. And then we have another approach, which is called, we'll call it fundamental. It's combining, or quantumental, I should say, combining quantitative with a fundamental approach, meaning a little bit different. And then we have more of a systematic approach. And each one of those managers have defined how they operate to stay within their bands, meaning do what they do well, focus on the stocks that fit what they're trying to do, and search for outperformance within that area. And the other thing, truthfully, is you guys mentioned it earlier with Ben, is fees are important. And the fees you charge are really important for those products. And if you look at the products we have, the fees are pretty reasonable for the active management that you're getting, especially compared to other products or even um, mutual funds in the space.